If you're looking for, for some live performances and some good food today, and you're, you're in luck because the Go Live Spotlight on the Arts event is kicking off this evening. Joining us to give us more details is Vice President of Arts United, Dan Ross. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Good morning. Nice to be here. All right, so how exactly did this event come about? Well, we are celebrating the designation of Arts Campus Fort Wayne with a statewide recognition as a cultural district. And we thought the perfect way to celebrate that would be to bring together two of our premier arts and cultural organizations, Fort Wayne Philharmonic and Fort Wayne Ballet, for a free live performance at the Arts Campus. Sounds like a lot of fun. Why is it called Go Live? Well, we, we initiated a joint marketing campaign earlier this summer called Go Live, okay. encouraging people to return to these arts and cultural experiences in our community. We want people to know the arts are back. We're looking forward to a great season. Okay, this event has been moved indoors. Why the change? Well, we looked at the weather, and <laughs> as much as we would love to do this outdoors, love outdoor arts experiences, uh, it's going to be just a little too cold tonight uh -huh. for dancers and uh, musicians. But we're going to have a fantastic evening celebrating this cultural district that we have. We blame Adam for that, right? The wet <laughs> yeah. weather. I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's great. Okay, so you're celebrating the cultural district designation. Can you explain exactly what that means? Yes. So Indiana has 12 cultural districts that have received this statewide designation. These tend to be places that have a density of arts and cultural experiences, but they're also attractors for small businesses, creative businesses, restaurants. They make places sticky. Our cultural district uh, at Arts Campus Fort Wayne has places like the Fort Wayne Museum of Art, History Center, mm -hmm. Fryman Square, our center, but also experiences like theater performances, dance classes, uh, gallery exhibitions, but also community events, mm -hmm. Wild and I Bar Street Market, mm -hmm. Downtown Fort Wayne, Lunch on the Square, Taste of the Arts. These are the kinds of experiences that you get in a cultural district. But we also have attracted around us, you know, there are restaurants like Club Soda and mm -hmm. Gas House and Hoppy Dome. And just to the west across Rousseau Plaza, the landing now has all those restaurants and shops. Mm -hmm. And just to the north of us, under development, the Headwaters Lofts Project. So this arts campus really is a hub of creativity and activity. All right, so what can folks expect when they attend? We're going to have a fantastic evening. Mm -hmm. We're going to have food trucks on the Arch United Center Plaza, thanks to our friends at downtown Fort Wayne. Uh, those will start at 5.30. At 7 o'clock, this performance by the Fort Wayne Ballet and Fort Wayne Philharmonic will begin mm -hmm. inside the Arch United Center. They've put together a beautiful program, classical favorites, uh, excerpts from Tchaikovsky's Sleeping Beauty, Copeland, Hoedown, uh, Stravinsky, Firebird. It's truly a beautiful evening of music and dance. Sounds like it. Thank you so much for telling us us about it this morning. As he said, food trucks will be available along the Arts United Center Plaza starting at 530. The program begins at 7 inside the Arts United Center. Thanks so much.